in terms of intellectual property law, the first um, major uh, classification type uh, is, that we are going to look at is copyright. Uh, copyright has to do with written material, um, but it also has to do with uh, music, with films, with dance, uh, uh, with uh, quilts, with uh, knitting patterns. Um, basically, anything that you can put into a fixed form. Um, so, as you know, I'm, <laughs> I wrote a sermon recently. Um, I actually uh, thought of the idea, basic idea for the sermon, um, uh, six months ago, and then uh, a couple of weeks ago, I dictated it all out in, you know, uh, less than a couple of hours, and, uh, you know, one take, one and done, do it, edit. Now it's in fixed form. Now it's, um, it's written down, um, it is, so, you know, I can, I can claim copyright on that. Um, I couldn't claim copyright on it when I had, uh, the idea in, in January. And, and I mean, I really have, um, uh, an awful lot of the structure. It was just the, the idea, you know, here's, here's the idea. And, uh, so, ideas you can't copyright. The expression of the idea, that, uh, once it's written down, or, you know, some in some way, in fixed form, uh, even dictated out, as I say, um, that is copyrightable. And you can, you can claim the copyright on that. Um... A lot of people um, think that you have to register a copyright, that you have to mail yourself a copy of what you did, uh, registered mail, um, you know, and don't open the envelope but, so that it's postmarked and et cetera, et cetera. Um, or register with a particular copyright office. No. Um, when you have put it into fixed form, you, as the author, hold copyright. Um, the uh, the registration, uh, the business about mailing yourself a copy, and that sort of thing. Uh, those are tools that you can use to defend your copyright, perhaps. Um, but you actually do really hold copyright uh, once you have put it into fixed form. So, um, and I, I mean, you know, I, I mentioned dance. Uh, so, you know, you take a, a video of yourself dancing. That video is now in fixed form. You know, it's, it's copyrightable. And... Um, the dance itself, because, you know, you have done the dance, um, uh, it's not just that particular one time that you did it, you know, the, the dance is copyrightable because it's a certain form of movement and you can see from the video what you have done, uh, that is, uh, you know, a fixed form of a created piece. Um, music, um... You can, I mean, we've got scores, uh, or you can record it. Um, uh, movies, of course, you know, we just, the, the movie itself uh, is, you know, in, in fixed form on film or on, you know, tape or in memory in a computer uh, someplace. Um, but it's, uh, you know, if it's in fixed form um, and it is created and you created it, you hold copyright. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, our copyright, um, uh, has always, 
uh, favored the the corporations, you know, the the golden rule. Them's that has the gold makes the rules. And yes, as uh, copyright has sort of progressed um, at one point, um, the uh, you know a, a publisher. Uh, well, the publishers weren't publishers; they were printers. And if you wanted to publish a book, you went to to a printer, and you know paid the printer to produce your books, and then you sold the books. Um, the nowadays um, publishers have uh, the marketing, uh, the um, uh, contacts with the printers. I mean, you can do self-publishing and that sort of thing, but it's an awful lot of work. So, uh, my first book, actually kind of my second book, but anyway, um, when I signed a contract with the publisher, the publisher assumed the copyright. That was, you know, the deal. Um, and uh, that is very often what happens these days. Um, you unless you are extremely famous, do not, in fact, hold the copyright. It is, in fact, the publisher. You know, when you sign a contract, and the co contract states, uh, you know, I am selling my, uh, my copyright to the publisher. And the publisher makes money and, and gives me a fraction of it. The... Uh, Subsequently, um, a couple of the uh, books that I wrote, um, I specified in them that when the, you know, if uh, they didn't do a second edition um, after a certain period of time, whatever, that the copyright would come back to me. So, yes, I hold um, the copyright myself on... Uh, the Dictionary of Information Security. Um, and so I could, uh, you know, again, when, when you sign a contract with a publisher, they, you know, say you can't sell this to another publisher. So I, I now can, you know, I could take that, uh, I could update it uh, myself and go to another publisher and um, it would be perfectly legal because I have the copyright. Um, it came back to me because they didn't do anything about further additions. Um, so, um, you know, there, there, you have certain rights, but you can, you can sell those rights. Um, uh, that may be part of the deal. Um, when you're dealing with copyright, um, the uh, uh, discourse. You know, I, I basically hold copyright on on this course. I mean, the, the slides that I created, I hold copyright on that. Um, the uh, This uh, series of videos, I hold copyright on that because that is now a, uh, a fixed uh, format of the, uh, the course itself and, and my delivery of it. Uh, so... Uh, and in, in this case, I'm giving it to you guys for free. So, uh, but you do not have the rights of copyright. I still hold the rights of copyright. Uh, but you guys get to go and study up for the CISSP exam based on this stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, 